Bruno Scherer, bike number 167, had the honour of being the first rider to officially kick off at Dakar 2018. The Frenchman's been passionate about motorsport since he was a teenager, and now at 47, he's fulfilling his dream of taking part in the world's most famous rally. He's one of 40 rookies diving in at the deep end in the bikes this year, but as you can see, it's a steep learning curve. All 139 riders set up at two minute intervals on Saturday, with the elite class riders bringing up the rear. The Dakar's visited no fewer than 29 countries in its long history, and Peru is no doubt one of the most special amongst them. There'll be no respite for the participants in the first five stages of this year's rally as they battle their way through the sand, the heat, and the dunes. Leia Sanz has been proving for several years that she can cut it with the best of them. The Spaniard, who's finished at 15th and 16th overall in the past two editions, putting in a solid effort and coming 12th. But a bad start for Joaquim Rodriguez, who's targeting another top 10 finish on his hero, the Portuguese taking a spill after a deep drop. David de Sultre was hoping that Lightning would strike twice, but the winner of last year's opening stage had to settle for fifth place. Joan Bereda hasn't had the easiest preparation this year due to some injury problems, but the Honda man wasn't showing any ill effects here, coming in at 56 seconds down. Pablo Quintanilla enjoyed a storming 2017, securing his second straight title at the Cross Country Rallies World Championships, the Chilean third on the day. And second place went to sound specialist Adrian van Beveren on a good day all around for Yamaha. After two or three kilometers, I thought it was probably more important to avoid crashing. There were some big drops, so I took it easy and still managed to come second. Rider number one, though, Sam Sunderland, was out to show who's boss. The defending champion, who's been based in Abu Dhabi for the past decade, showing he'll be a tough man to beat over the dunes, he claimed the stage win by 32 seconds. We only had a short stage, no? Um, but happy to start here in Peru, and uh, the bike's working really well. Um, it's the first day of a long race, so it doesn't mean so much right now. Uh, but yeah, day one Dakar, and uh, win is always good. So a dream start for Sunderland, and the favourites already flexing their muscles, even if this was only a short stage. KTM, Yamaha, Husqvarna and Honda all in the top five. Early trouble for Sebastian Loeb. His brakes failed three kilometres into the stage having to throw his car sideways just to slow down. And here he is being overtaken by Bernard Tenbrink. In the end, Sebastian Loeb dropped five and a half minutes. Uh, it's a little bit complicated, yes. Uh, certainly not what we would prefer. Driving without brakes isn't a nice thing to do. Even if we had a handbrake, it would be OK, but we didn't have that. So not much fun today, but we made it to the finish. And it's still a long rally, so we'll see. But by passing Sebastian Loeb, Ten Brink's fifth Dakar, he's the first ever Dutch driver to tackle the Dakar in a factory team, and he was second and quickest on the stage. With a time of 22 minutes and 44 seconds, Nani Roma was fifth quickest. Did Stefan Petter... So how did Stefan Petter Hansel do? Well, a strategic effort perhaps from Mr. Dakar to avoid a bad road position on day two, but he was 11th quickest, two minutes 15 slower. Well, I decided to drive these 30k at the speed of a postman. I really wasn't at ease. Uh, we haven't been on dunes for quite some time, and with the bad light and these types of dunes, I was driving defensively from start to finish. Miko Hervenen, this is a promising first test for the new two-wheel drive Mini Buggy. It was more agile and lighter over the dunes. Eighth overall, 1 minute 36 off the best time, but ahead of the Peugeots. Impressive start for the American rookie Bryce Menzies. The practice in Morocco and the Silkway last year has clearly helped fourth quickest on the stage. 
but on his 14th Dakar, two-time winner Nasser Alatia wins the first stage of Dakar 2018. 25 seconds quicker than anyone else. I don't want the strategy because I trust uh, my co-driver Matthew. Tomorrow if we open the road, I know it will be very difficult, not easy. But uh, just I'm really uh, happy uh, for today.